Hi friends, once again welcome back to my channel Mugambiga Nursing. Friends, today we can discuss questions from pediatric nursing. We can see the questions one by one. First question, a primary parent woman has just given birth to a term infant. What topic should the nurse teach the client about first? And our options, option A, sudden infant death syndrome, option B, breastfeeding, option C, infant bathing, option C, infant sleep wake cycles. Here the question is, a primary parent or a primary woman has given birth to a term infant. Here our question is, about which topic does the nurse give education to the mother firstly? And the correct answer is about breastfeeding. Option A is the correct answer. Here, breastfeed infant within first hour of life and approximately every 2 to 3 hours. So, as a nurse, we should educate the mother regarding breastfeeding. On to the next question. A unit is born by cesarean birth at 36 weeks gestation. The temperature in the birthing room is 70 degree Fahrenheit. In Celsius, 21.1 degree Celsius. To prevent heat loss from convection, which action should the nurse take? Options. Option A. Dry the neonate quickly after birth. Option B. Keep the neonate away from the air conditioning vents. Option C. Place the neonate away from the outside windows. Option D. Pre-warm the bed. Here the question is, a neonate or a newborn baby delivered by cesarean section at 36 weeks of gestation and the temperature of the operation theater or temperature of the birthing room is 21.1 degrees Celsius. Yes. And to prevent heat loss from convention of the baby, which action should the nurse should take? To prevent heat loss by convection, we should keep the neonate away from the air conditioning vents. So, AC and all on is there. So, temperature of the room is 21.1 degree Celsius. So, we should keep the infant away from the air conditioning vents. The neonate should be kept away from drafts such as from air conditioning vents which may cause heat loss by convection. Move on to the next question. WHO defines adolescent age group between Options Option A 10 to 19 years, Option B 9 to 14 years, Option C 10 to 25 years, Option D 10 to 14 years. Here our question is according to WHO the adolescent age group is between 10 to 19 years. Option A is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. The primary psychosocial task during adolescence is to establish options. Option A, identity. Option B, intimacy. Option C, autonomy. Option D, none of this. Is. According to psychosocial development theory by Eric Erickson, the psychosocial task obtained during adolescence is identity versus role confusion. So, here the correct answer is identity. Option A is the correct answer. On to the next question, which is the indicator of immediate estimate of the physical condition of the baby? Options, option A, new Bellard scale, option B, Abgar score, option C, growth chart, option D, health assessment. Immediate assessment of physical condition of the baby after birth is by Abgar score, option B is the correct answer. Abgar score was discovered by Dr. Virginia Abgar in 1952. And five characteristics are assessed in Abgar scoring. They are A. A means appearance. P means pulse. G means grimace. A means activity. R means respiratory rate or respiratory effort. And the five vital indicators of Abgar scoring include first one heart rate, second one respiratory rate, third one skin color, fourth one reflex, and fifth one muscle tone. Abgar scoring we can see 8 to 10 is normal. No need of special intervention except just give support to the newborn. And 4 to 7 means moderate distress and need oxygen therapy to the newborn. Severe distress means score is 0 to 3 and need immediate resuscitation to the newborn. And the next question, in the term Abgar, G stands for options, option A, growth, option B, grimace, option C, grinding, option D, growth. As we already discussed in the previous question, G means grimace, option B is the correct answer. 
And the next question, what is the ideal temperature of the newborn resuscitation room? And our options, option A 37 to 39 degrees Celsius, option B 32 to 34 degrees Celsius, option C 28 to 30 degrees Celsius and option D 25 to 27 degrees Celsius. And the correct answer is, it is option D 25 to 27 degrees Celsius. Yes. Immediately after birth, the newborns are at risk of hypothermia. So we should keep the temperature of the delivery room should be 25 to 27 degrees Celsius option. D is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. While suctioning newborn baby's mouth and nose, which part need to suction first? Options. Option A. Mouth. Option B. Nose. Option C. Based upon the amount of secretions present. Option D. All of this. Then, while doing suction, which part we have to do suction first? Either mouth or nose. We have to do suction at mouth first. Option A is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Size of suction catheter used in neonate for oral and nasal suction is options. Option A 8 French. Option B 14 French. Option C 12 French. Option D 16 French. Suction catheter which is used in neonate is 8 French. Option A is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Fetal bradycardia is defined as options. Option A, less than 100 beats per minute. Option B, between 100 and 150 beats per minute. Option C, less than 150 beats per minute. Option D, less than 120 beats per minute for a period of 15 minutes of continuous monitoring. Here the question is fetal bradycardia. So normal fetal heart rate is a term it is 120 to 160 beat per minute bradycardia means decreased heart rate so here fetal bradycardia means less than 120 beats per minute for a period of 15 minutes of continuous monitoring all right okay and fetal tachycardia means tachycardia means increased heart rate so fetal heart rate more than 160 beats per minute for 10 minutes or 15 minutes or longer that is tech fetal tachycardia here question is fetal bradycardia so option d is the correct answer and the next question lack of oxygen in the tissues is called options option a hypoxia option b hypoxemia option c anoxemia option d cyanosis lack of oxygen in the tissue is known as hypoxia option a is the correct answer sir and the lack of oxygen in the blood is known as or decreased oxygen content in the blood is known as hypoxemia. Anoxemia means absence of oxygen in the blood. And cyanosis means bluish discoloration of the body. Move on to the next question. Which among the following is an uncommon finding in congestive cardiac failure in newborn? Options. Option A. Tachycardia. Option B. Hepatomegaly. Option C. Tachypnea. Option D. Pedal edema. Here our question is, among the following, which one is an uncommon finding, not commonly seen finding in case of congestive cardiac failure in case of newborn? And the correct answer is option D, pedal edema. Remaining tachycardia, hepatomegaly, tachypnea, all are the common symptoms, but pedal edema is an uncommon finding in CCF in newborn. Move on to the next question, which hormone helps? For skeletal maturation in fetus. Options. Option A. Growth hormone. Option B. Estrogen. Option C. Thyroxine. Option D. Progesterone. And the correct answer is. It is by thyroxine. Option C is the correct answer. This is thyroxine which is helpful for skeletal maturation in fetus. And the tissue growth of the fetus is by insulin like growth factor. Which is secreted by liver. This is also important question. Skeletal growth is or skeletal maturation of the fetus is by thyroxine and tissue growth is by insulin like growth factor. Move on to the next question. Terrible toes is the term used to describe which age group of children? Options Option A infant, Option B preschool, Option C toddler, Option D school going children. And the correct answer is it is for toddler. Option C is the correct answer. Toddler is the period between 1 to 3 years. This is known as terrible 
toes this is the age between major developmental task and are obtained during this period intellectual development is occurring in during this period parent child bonding are occurring more in this period so this is known as terrible toes today we discuss some of the important questions from pediatric nursing surely these questions will helpful for your studies if it is useful for your studies please share my videos to your friend circle